Okay, breaker broke 23. I have a pair of Klitsch KG 4.2 uh, speakers that have uh, some bad horns in them. Um, they actually don't work. The, the diaphragms are burned up inside. So today I'm going to show you how to repair this particular speaker. Um, first of all, they are repairable because you can see that we have the nuts on here so this can actually be taken apart and serviced. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a new um, voice coil unit in here. And this is what the new one looks like. And I got these from SpringfieldSpeakerRepair.com found those guys on eBay. I think they were like 17 bucks a pop. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking the old diaphragm out. So just real quick here, um, we're going to loosen up these three mounting nuts here. And take these off. I've already done one of them and uh, was had success with that so this one's the last one to go on this pair. Okay now as you can see I've taken the the three nuts off that actually compress the magnet and uh, butterfly assembly in and it actually mounts it on the horn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip it up like this. I'm going to wiggle it and pull it straight off like this put this to the side, flip it upside down. Basically what we have here is the magnet assembly with the voice coil here. I call it butterflies, I don't know. Call it what you want. It's kind of an old school deal. What you do is you hold this down, lift this piece off, carefully bring it straight up. <clears throat> now these are ferrofluid cooled tweeters. You can see there's a shiny uh, uh, amount of liquid on here and uh, basically that's the ferrofluid and what they do is they squeeze it and shoot it down into this gap here in the air gap and then the voice coil sits and rides down in that and that helps kind of cool the voice coil. Uh, at this point if you want to you could add some more ferrofluid. I don't see there's a really a need to do it because this has uh, plenty in there I feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the new piece we have three large holes and three smaller like guide holes. So obviously the three large holes are going to go into here. Here's the trick. You want to get it down in here. You want to be as straight and plumb as you can when putting this piece in. Generally this won't fight you. You won't have to push it down or anything like that. And it should just go right down in there like so. Okay. You can visually check make sure everything's good it's seated in these little guide holes right here these help keep everything aligned okay we're going to take the the horn element put back on line the holes up come on and what we're going to do is we're going to reassemble. I mean it's pretty basic. You just pull one piece out and put a new piece in. Um, but you want to do it, you kind of want to be careful because you want to make sure that you get that voice coil down in there straight and you don't want to rub that voice coil up against that magnet assembly because that'll just ruin your new voice coil. And you got to start all over again. I think, these, I, think I paid seventeen dollars a piece for this for this kit, obviously. If you have a horn or a tweeter of any kind in a set of speakers that has blown and they're rebuildable like this, I suggest you order a set of replacement diaphragms because what's going to happen is you're going to have the new one that's replaced and it could be uh, somewhat louder 
than the old one. So you want them to be equal. Okay. And what I do is I usually just finger tighten these things and then cinch them down just a little bit. You don't really want to get crazy with it. And you kind of want to do it like a tire pattern. You know, you want to go around and do either one equally. Don't cinch, don't cinch one down, you know, all the way and then go do these other ones. Kind of, kind of um, disperse the, the energy there. So there's what you'll have is you'll have this replaced diaphragm. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to check it and just make sure everything's okay. You can do one of two things. You could put music through it. Or you could uh, just pop it with a battery. I'm going to pop it with a battery. You hear that? And that's going to be just fine. We're going to check for maybe a short. Or to see if maybe that's rubbing against there just for giggles. Take your own meter out. Go here and here. I get nothing. Here and here I get nothing. And I got 4.8 ohms. So there we go. We're going to slap this back into the camera. I mean back into the cabinet. Sorry about that. And we're going to rock and roll. So that's how you replace the diaphragm in a Klipsch K85K horn. So if you have a K85K horn, you're going to want to get a KLIK76 replacement diaphragm. Like I say, springfieldspeaker.com, pretty basic. Thanks for watching.